I am very, very excited to welcome our feature to the stage. We have with us tonight Davey Mack, who is a member of last year's our 2006-2007 Eugene Poetry Slam team, and he is a member of last year's Portland Poetry Slam team. He is currently touring around all over the place, sleeping in random abodes as I hear it. So he's all saucy and poeted up for you. Just, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> was that the right bio? <laughs> to welcome Mr. Davey Mack to the stage. Please give it up for your intro. <laughs> So give yourselves a round of applause for being here tonight, fill up the space, and supporting live art instead of watching Netflix at home. I kind of miss. All right, this first poem is dedicated to the Catholic Church, politicians everywhere, the New York Yankees, and everyone else who keeps fucking up my shit. <laughs> If I was a Bible writer, I would do a lot of editing. I would decree religion a hellworthy trespass, turn dogma to paradox, a burning bush into a magna box. Lightning would be enlightening, and every baseball team would be the Red Sox. That's right. Baseball would be in the Bible, because I wouldn't want my Bible to be on American. And if I was the Pope, Vatican City would be as beautiful and as antiquarian as it ever was. The prayers listing from the lips of priests would be sweet whispers to the husbands or wives and the pale holy light, the stained glass pleats that's right, priests could get down. Because if I was a holy man, I still would want to get down, and I think that if priests could get down, then we could cut down on child molestation in the church. I'm just saying. Yes, the holy bone could be the stone that kills those two birds. And since I'm probably going to hell for this poem anyway, <laughs> if I was your God, I would sprinkle wine out into the night. So when you looked up to it to wither time away with questions to me, you would be so drunk with the moment, you'd forget all about being saved and start seeing that the only way to be saved is to save yourself by just being and hold it. See, if I was a therapist, you probably wouldn't want to go to me. <laughs> but I would listen like a grandparent does to a grandchild's gentle derision, and I would answer all of your questions in plain language, possibly offer the exact advice you were looking for, though I know you'd never take it. And if I was a politician, if I was a dick, <laughs> I would fuck you. <laughs> no need to thank me, just doing my job. <laughs> you know, because a dick and a politician, they both, you know, if I was omnipotent, <laughs> And I could change things. I'd probably start out by doing a bunch of weird shit that always seems to just pop up in my dreams, like turn telephone booths into teleportation points. That would be really fucking awesome. I would fuck a cloud into a monsoon, make all of your favorite moments possible to clone. I would like bottle rockets to bloom into tulips, and when they floated down, I would have been a pitchfork into the saxophone to hold the sky into the ground so we could hear the soundtrack with the playback of our fantasy. I would turn Korans into Bibles, Bibles into Korans, wars into carnivals, and fists into hands to make musical instruments out of killing pools. If I was an artist, then I would give you my hands. But I'm sorry to say I'm afraid I just play that age-old role of a fool, because maybe I still believe in God just in case. And no, I've never read the Bible. And I don't know the first thing about baseball. I just said that to get you to like it. And I can't even name a pope. I don't even vote. And I'm too shit scared to go to a therapist because I might actually have to deal with a problem. And nobody, nobody, nobody has limitless power. That's what we all wanted so badly. Yet here we are, still talking about the things we'd do if we were. Uh. <laughs> 